Hello, my name is Mark Chinesk and I'm an application engineer with Scylla Design Solutions. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a surface with 2D contour GIS data from a shapefile. Now sometimes we get a uh, data set from a county or municipal GIS website or from a client um, that contains contour data that we want to be able to use to turn into a surface that we can use in Civil 3D for preliminary design. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, this command, uh, this uh, process is going to use the map 3D functionality along with the Civil 3D functionality within Civil 3D. The first thing I want to do is change my workspace to planning and analysis. I don't normally have to do this to import shapefile day in with the map import command, but I will need some functionality out of the map task pane for this process. So I'm going to switch workspaces. The first thing we need to do in our drawings is make sure we're set to the right coordinate zone. So in planning and analysis under the map setup tab, we'll assign our coordinate system. Now this particular project I'm working at will be in US survey foot and we'll be in Missouri. And it's going to be Missouri 83 Eastern foot and I'll assign that. Okay, the command I'm going to use to bring in the contour data is map import. Import, if I can spell it, there we go. And here's the shape file, contours shp, and I'll click OK. And it brings me to the map import dialog box. You can see my current drawing coordinate system, and we can see the coordinate system of the shape file. They match. If they did not match, um, Civil 3D and Map 3D will convert the shapefile data in and display it in the proper coordinate system. Um, we are going to want to bring in the data. So there is attributed data associated with the shapefile including the elevation for that particular contour line. We need to bring that data in so we can extract that to elevate those contours. So I want to highlight the data box here, click the dot 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 button and say create object data the object data table to use. I'm going to use the default contour um, data that's associated with that shape file. And I'll click OK. And for line work, I always, as a habit, import polylines as closed polylines. If you're ever bringing in closed shape data, if you don't check this box, it'll bring um, shapes in instead of closed polylines. Um, so I'll click OK. And I will zoom to extents. And you can see here are my contours. Now if I select one of these contours and look in my properties window, you can see they are polylines, but they have elevation of zero. So to make a surface from this, uh, this wouldn't help me out very much. But if I look at the object data I brought in from the map import, you can see one of the attributes is contour elevation. You can see the contour I selected has an elevation of 520. So I can use this data now to elevate these contours up in the next step. So the first thing I need to do to do that is save this drawing. And I'm going to save it. I'm going to overwrite one I did earlier called 2D Contour. And I'll replace that. So now this drawing is saved. And I will have to close this data. I'll close this drawing here. And I'll start a brand new drawing. Now again, the next step I'm going to have to do is assign a coordinate system to this pink drawing. And it's going to be the same as the other. Um, if I don't want to use the filters here and I know the the code for it, I can just type it in here. It is Mo83EF. And there it is. So I'll select that and I'll assign it. Okay, so now my coordinate system is assigned. Now in the map task pane, I'll come down here to the map explorer tab. And you can see under the data sets here under drawings, I'll select the drawings right click and I'll say attach and I'm going to use my drawing selection here browse through my directory to my drawing that I just saved now you gotta have make sure that drawing is closed if that drawing was open it, I could not make a successful attachment to it so I'm gonna highlight that drawing that I just saved and make sure it's closed and click OK now that drawing is gonna load in here under the drawings tab. I think let me try to reattach it. Oops, I forgot to hit add. There, I gotta add so it appears down here under the selected drawings and say okay. So now this drawing is attached as a data source. 
it's just like attaching another FDO connection or another shapefile connection. Um, the drawing is the data source that I've attached. So now any kind of queries that I run, it will not only search this drawing, but it will also search that drawing. Okay, so now that we have that drawing attached, I'm going to perform a query on it. Um, I can either come up to the uh, the Analyze tab, run a query, or I'm just going to run, since, since I have Query Library right here, in the current query, I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to define, since it's a blank drawing, I'm going to create a query, I'm going to click the property, the layer, and I'm going to hit the values button here and I'm going to search for the layers those elevation contours came in on and it happens to be right here contours that's the layer when I did that map import it created that contours layer so it's going to search the layers and since that layer only exists in this attached drawing that's where it's going to find it and say okay now I need to alter the properties so if I hit the the draw now it's going to pull all those contour polylines from this drawing and place them in this drawing. But I'm going to alter the properties of those polylines. Select the Alter Properties button here and I'm going to choose Elevation and then hit the Expression button, search through the object data of that imported data and then remember we saw that contour elevation attribute. I'm going to select that and I'm going to add it. So it's going to bring in those contours from this query and also alter the elevation of those polylines by the value of that contour LA attribute. I'll select OK. I'll choose Query Mode Draw and I'll execute the query. Zoom to Extents and you can see those polylines have been queried from that other drawing into this drawing. But if I select that polyline again that I selected earlier, you can see the elevation in my geometry is 520. So all of these contours are now elevated up to their proper contour elevation. From this point I can switch back to my Civil 3D workspace first from contours just as I normally would any kind of contour data. I'll create a new surface. I'll call this contour EG. I'll leave the style at contours 2 and 10 foot. I'll expand my surface, expand my contour EG, and expand the definition within the prospector. I'll select contours, right click, and I'll say add. And I'll call these contours from GIS. I'll select all my flat, minimize flat areas. I like to do this. I want to add any supplemental data or weeding factors or middle ordinate for curved contours. I can do that here. I'll select OK, select all my contours, hit enter, and my surface is created. You can see I can highlight my surface. It shows that, that it's a tin surface. If I rotate my view here to a uh, isometric view, maybe change my visual style to conceptual you can see I do have a surface has been created and that's it I can now go ahead and uh, do any of the normal civil 3d object cut profiles run con uh, existing or proposed grading on this um, as all preliminary design or use this as the basis for adding other surface elevation to to make a more finished surface if you have any questions you can email me at mshinesk at siler-ds.com. Please visit our website at www.siler-ds.com and visit our blog at www.siler-ds.com forward slash blog for more tips and tricks. And thank you for watching.